As reporters, we're always finding ourselves looking into people's lives, sharing their triumphs and tragedies. Well, tonight, Fox 2 Shandrea Thomas joins us to share her personal story about someone who is very near and dear to her heart, Shandrea. Mandy, that someone is my late brother, Turan, who lost his brave battle with skin cancer. During one of my last conversations with him, we talked about me sharing his journey with as many people as possible to enlighten, educate, and hopefully help save lives. Turan Lamar Hubbard was a tall, good-looking guy with a sense of humor who loved his family, fiance, friends, and the Los Angeles Lakers. Growing up, we always fought over cookies and the remote, but we always found a way to share. Life was good in the summer of 2011 until I got a call that would change my family forever. Turan told me he was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. At first, I thought, how could a man of color get it? Well, it turns out the malignant cancer started underneath a toenail on his right foot. It had never healed correctly after someone accidentally stepped on it. Turan rarely got sick, so he didn't worry about it and waited more than a month before doctors checked it out and gave the bad news. Suddenly, he was in a whirlwind of PET scans and biopsies. Doctors determined it was stage three. The toe was quickly amputated, and the fight for survival began. Turan went through a year of intense weekly chemotherapy treatments, and a month after his last treatment, we found out the melanoma has spread to both of his lungs and his brain. They were stage four. Fifteen months after his diagnosis, he was gone, and with it, his dreams of a marriage and future. Turan died on October 1st, 2012. He was only 34 years old. According to SkinCancer.org, one person dies of melanoma every 57 minutes. We find that the better we're getting at diagnosing melanoma... A statistic that Dr. Lynn Cornelius with the Siteman Cancer Center yes. is trying to stop. 36% of all melanomas that occur in the black population are on these non-sun exposed sites. She says the number of African Americans dying from melanoma or skin cancer is on the rise. And when diagnosed, they're found in the deadliest of stages. Dr. Cornelius believes education... Early Early detection and treatment are key. Things look really very, very good. I think it's all about education, not only for the lighter skinned um, ethnicities that are typically darker skinned individuals for ultraviolet, but also the palms and soles when there's a spot, a darker spot that is changing. Um, in darker um, skinned individuals, they get these sometimes these darker streaks in the nails. They're very common. There are also misconceptions about skin cancer in the black community. So actually studies have been done on that very subject, that the perception of dark skinned individuals is that they don't have to worry about skin cancer. And one consequence of that is that in the persons of color, that skin cancer is di diagnosed at a much later stage. According to the American Cancer Society, at least one in five Americans will get skin cancer in their lifetime. And 71-year-old Warren Gower is one of them. He's been battling melanoma for 14 years. No pain in any areas. The retired Clayton School District math teacher was shocked at his diagnosis when a suspicious spot showed up on his right foot. Years later, it came back and moved to his calf. How it appeared in my calf, it wasn't a mole. Uh, the spot on my heel, uh, why there's no sun under my heel. So uh, that was a surprise, but that simply meant that I had to learn a little bit more. Gower didn't know about melanoma and had no knowledge of his family's medical history. He says sharing information is important. I had an uncle who had uh, prostate cancer, and uh, he kept that secret even though he has five sons. My brother may be gone, but he will always be with me in spirit, and I will continue to be his voice. I love you, miss you. <laughs> For more information on treatments, go to fox2now.com. We have an entire section de dedicated to skin cancer and melanoma education. On behalf of my family, we hope and pray that sharing our story with you will get some people to the doctor. Shandrea Thomas, Fox 2 News.